Hello, hello everybody and welcome. I'm Doc and today we are reacting to Inside the 33 Million Triplex New York Penthouse. Let's go. So, okay, the view. Of course, it's amazing. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, imagine welcome waking to up to that. East 88th Street. I'm excited to introduce you to oh, yeah. the highest elevation being offered in all of Carnegie Hill on the Upper East Side. Okay, Pentos. that makes sense why this it's is 33 a five million. Bed, four and a half bath triplex with 5,500 interior square feet, 3,500 exterior square feet. God damn. With multiple terraces, including a full roof terrace. I'm feeling this the music, guys. This home has its mm. own interior elevator, yeah. stunning kitchen, two living rooms, three fireplaces, Ooh. ceiling heights of 13 and a half, to just shy of Ooh, that's nice. feet. That, that's really nice. The stunning Ooh. floor to ceiling windows offer views of the Manhattan skyline, Central Park, George Washington Bridge, East River. Why is it such a big and deal about Central Park, guys? $33 million. Okay, okay. Listen, listen to me. If somebody has $33 million and is watching this, like, guys, what the fuck do you work so you are able to buy, like, a penthouse for $33 million? Like, imagine, like, Let's say 80% at least of people, or no more, around 90% of people that work every single day of their freaking life, they, they are barely, barely, barely able to get to like 500k. Like a million, that's like, whoa. <laughs> like how, how can you spend 33 million on that? I don't know, man. I'm happy to introduce to you the CEO of Azure and DDG Azure. Properties, Joe McMillan. Hello, Joe. Thank you, Loretta. Let's take a tour. He looks like he's waiting for her just to push it. And like she fell. I don't know. <laughs> oh, great view. Like, don't go Welcome on. to 180 East 88th Street. We're in the pinnacle. It's a couch. The man. crown jewel bed. of the tower. Yeah. Here in the living room. I know room, this may be expensive, entrance, but still. You come out of the elevator, private landing. You have 14 two foot tall oh, ceilings. Shit. You have exposures to the south. You have exposures to the west towards oh, the park. It is a good view. Second, that this is not the living room. That's barely We're like a in small the room. Living room. You may have noticed there's a very open floor plan within the unit, but we tried to create very discreet spaces. So, it do you know? Do you know what I love about these? Like the, always, when they are talking about the the house, they're like, we like to have open stuff and they use the words like we're so smart and it's like all open and closed and everybody's happy like yeah why do they always use like these smart words like it's an open area and uh it has this this brilliant storage it's it's, it's a freaking glass glass stuff it's not like oh this open area and you have like a small small really small living room where you can't even put your legs up you know it doesn't feel like one cavernous area. You have these huge, expansive ceilings, but okay, they're very nice discreet though. seating areas, broken it up is with nice a custom staircase, custom fireplace, to it's really sick, give you nice. a sense of place okay, as okay. you're sitting looks like. within different locations of the unit. Let's go check out the dining room. The dining room. Ooh. The centerpiece of the dining room is really the view. You have all of the Midtown skyline. It's all about the view. Billionaire's guy. row out your window through these beautiful framed arches that accentuate the rest of the architecture in the building. You look at these arches that are inspired by turn of the century architecture 100 years ago, what you saw in the 20s and 30s. Here in New York, we incorporated that. We tried to bring a little bit of downtown. But look at the uptown. wind, guys. Who can sit outside? Did you see the wind? Everything was going We're standing like... what has to be one of the largest eat-in kitchens in all of New York City. Its kitchen was custom designed by us Go in conjunction New York with Multani of Italy. Custom cabinets throughout. We also have imported statuary or marble. Like, what's custom cabinets, man? It's freaking cabinets. It's a bit of wood, man. What's custom about them? Marble from Italy. Imported Fantini custom fixtures. Look at that stupid Italy. stuff, man. A custom vented hood that was made here vented in New York hood. City Ooh. by hand. We have a German appliance package completely integrated by Gaganel. Nothing was spared. Gagon what? <laughs> in this kitchen. We created it for no, those man, who want to eat, those who want to entertain. Hey. You can sit, you can sip your coffee, look out at the Midtown skyline. Okay, it's nice, but behind. is it $33 million dollars nice? 
Now let's That's go the two questions. The second floor. Primary suit. We're standing in the primary suite. Very uniquely situated in the units suit? to face okay. Central Park and I'll the Midtown skyline. Thank you, guys. <laughs> you have unobstructed views to the south, unobstructed views to the west. Again, okay, it's nice. custom sculptural organic still, fire. Look at, look at the view. Wait, wait, wait for it. Like, look, look, look how it looks so weird, man. I don't know, man. Am I the only one weirded with this house? It looks stupid in a way. I don't know, man. Look at the the curve on the uh, the curvature on this thing. It looks stupid. I don't know, man. That's what I think. West. Again, a custom sculptural organic fireplace. I just in noticed nice I have area. the you caption have a private wrong, outdoor but terrace yeah, with curved cool. glass. I don't know why. Exclusive to the primary. Look at this. What the hell is this, man? I pressed so hard my mouse. <laughs> what the hell is this? They are, they act like it's cool, man. Man, in the hood where I live in, <laughs> like in the cheap place, they have it all like this. And there's some bullet holes in it. What the hell, man? That's not cool. Like, like it's We're now standing in the primary bath. Too classic. Unlike any other in New York City. Three exposures. I want to ask a question. So, like, if, if somebody's sitting here with binoculars would they see me take, take take a shit for example or or me going like ah uh, crazy on my on my bath time playing with my duckies full glass to the north you have the george washington bridge and yankee stadium to the west yankee, you have the makes hudson sense. river okay. central you park yank it there. and to the south you have the entire midtown skyline truly a luxury spot it's nice to be fair but $33 million dollars man. we talked about throughout the rest of the building here million. as well we have the custom imported bantini nobody gives two shits man. throughout the building we have silver look 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 because maybe they are gold they are so expensive i don't know maybe they are made in italy but who gives two shits like you can just spray paint them gold and say it's from um, uh, it's from the cave in your in Uranus. Uh, and that's why it costs like a million dollars to get. Like that's freaking stupid, man. I don't Travertine. know. Rich people, we maybe they are stupid. We have custom designed dual maybe, vanities. We have wet style high gloss wet tub, style. Mm -hmm. excellent for soaking as you sit and look out at the park. Mm -hmm. Anything you could want. I like to we've soak. Included here today. The and from rooms. the primary bath spa. Sorry. You can really appreciate and get <laughs> so up close so to, to the details and design of the building, including the arches. The arches Did serve just dual the, purposes. The, the glass They're door. architectural as well as structural to Bro, the building. It's, it's, and they also it's, it's create a, a sense of security and comfort when you're within the arch or under the arch. The arches allow for setback outdoor space. Right. So if it's raining, if there's snow, inclement weather, you can still be outdoors and enjoy the outdoors. Bro, without look being at in the, the wind. Elements. It's gonna be windy as, as freaking hell, man. What, what, enjoy the outdoors. What We're the now outdoors? In the secondary bedroom wing. This particular bedroom is ensuite bath, set up with two twins. We uh, have unobstructed views of the south. Room, look, I live in a very, very, very like we. My rent is like two hundred dollars. Me and my whole family. So we are four people. And it, my house can fit even five people. Okay, we pay two hundred dollars per month, and still my very small apartment is considered with my bed in it and my full computer and desk. It's still bigger than that thing that you call the bedroom. An arched window. We it's have stupid thirty-three million dollars, man. And we also have thirty-three a million that connects this bedroom with the two adjoining They're bedrooms so small, next door man. in a private outdoor it's new york area. to be fair though it's unlike anything it's new you'll york. see anywhere yeah, else yeah. makes sense but 33 the million rooftop terrace is 2100 square feet of outdoor oh, living space that's nice currently configured for a multitude of uses wind again but it's nice person dining table we have a private outdoor living room we have a private this outdoor is not the living room did you see that he called For this dining table. Look, look at this. Private this is he called this as a living room. This is this is two chairs, not living room, man. A private outdoor living room. What? <laughs> outdoor living room. We have a private outdoor sunroom. You have a fireplace. It's, it's unobstructed not the room, 360 degree views as far as the eye can see. The bricks we utilized in this building are very it's nice unique. to be fit. They're handmade in Denmark. Ooh by a family Why, who got their Why? commission from the king of Denmark That's to make stupid. bricks. 
Each That's individual really branch stupid, is huh? forged and pushed out from the mole by hand. You can see bands. Rich people are looking for exclusivity so much that they buy the stupidest stuff. It's like I made this shit handmade. It took me in the depth of a volcano. It took me around a year to form this shit in my stomach, where I dropped it in a volcano. Like Some what? Friends in each of the bricks. This is just stupid, man. There are six hundred thousand that were used here on site. These bricks were laid exactly it looks nice, but like the way bricks were laid them. hundreds of years ago in New York City. They're not a penalized system. It's They're not craned in. They're done million. by hand. 30 uh, repeat with me 33 million man do you know what with a million dollars how much space i can buy in my country man I can buy half thank of the country thank you for joining us today this no not thank you that this house was stupid man it's 33 million dollars it has open space if you know what i mean it has the private outdoor living room what living room two chairs man a sunroom which isn't even a room because it has to what what open space what man that's stupid but like yeah. honestly if it was like if i had unlimited money yeah definitely i would buy it man <laughs> but 33 million fuck me that's all for today guys hope you enjoyed it if you do do let us know down in the comments below and as usual don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button thank you everybody for watching hope to see you next time bye